Dwayne Lesner here bringing you one of the best features in AOS 6.7 and that is Cluster Protect. Cluster Protect is going to back up your NC2 AWS clusters protecting all of your virtual machines and volume groups running on your single cluster or multiple clusters. This great new feature is native to Nutanix it is going to take your AOS snapshots and send them to S3. Let's dive into this new feature. Other great benefits of Cluster Protect, you have a single throat to choke, meaning your first line of support is going to come from Nutanix. Nutanix has a great net promoter score, meaning we're delivering some of the best support in the business. Along with protecting yourself from accidental deletion of nodes in AWS, and maybe an availability zone goes down, uh, there's other ways that you know your coworkers may hamper you. Uh, and your running workload. So this just gives you another safety valve. Another great aspect of the feature set is that we're relying on taking AOS snapshots, which are very low impact, and then transferring them out to S3. So for high performance workloads, that would be a great fit for NC2 cluster that you're not going to impact the performance of the workload because the actual snapshot itself has very minimal impact. And then you're saving costs by not having to rely on another NC2 cluster for recovery. You can just send that off to S3 and restore it when you need to, or maybe even just protection from ransomware. So as far as getting set up, you're going to have your NC2 cluster running. You may have multiple NC2 clusters within the same AZ. You can deploy a single PC or a three node PC. This Prism Central does need to run in your availability zone. You then will create two S3 buckets with uh, Nutanix stash clusters is the requirement. There is a IM rule for security that matches up with that sequence, which will also get updated for your cluster deployment. So this is for greenfield clusters. So you have to be running AOS 6.7 for this feature. Uh, once you have your two S3 buckets, you can enable PC protection. Today, it's just a, a quick command line that will enable the protection. You list the bucket that you want to send the backup to. Uh, both the PC protection and when we're protecting the VMs on your cluster, we do have an hourly snapshot that we're keeping and we're keeping two of them, um, both in the running cluster and also in S3. So PC is protected. Um, relying on our PC DR function, which we've had for a while. So we're able to back up the Prism Central configuration uh, for you so you can redeploy it later. And then we're deploying what we call the Nutanix multi-cloud snapshot technology. So this is uh, a service using our MSP platform, which is really just a series of VMs running uh, its own Kubernetes cluster. Uh, that technology is going to allow us to take our AOS snapshots and transfer them to S3. So once that's deployed, we can protect our Prism element cluster. So we might have one or more that we want to protect. Uh, other notes, we want Prism Central to be deployed in its own AWS subnet. Uh, you'll also use that subnet for um, some of the IPs for the multi-cloud snapshot technology. So you don't really want to intermix that with your other running virtual machines. And this license is included in the ultimate tier. So you can get off and get to work. Now on the recovery side, so a node went down, uh, the AZ went down. So you'll redeploy your NC2 cluster. Once you have your NC2 cluster up and running, uh, there's a command line to restore from your S3 bucket, then you will redeploy the multi-cloud snapshot technology. The command line refers to as a cloud snapshot engine, and then you will create a recovery plan. 
the recovery plan is the same one that got auto created. So we do back up and protect every virtual machine. There's a service that looks for new virtual machines as well and volume groups that will be protected. So this uh, recovery plan is just recreating that, ensuring that we have all of the virtual machines and volume groups so we can restore them. Uh, so it is using the same Nutanix DR functionality in the back end. And then you execute your recovery plan and your back end business. Deploy, protect, and recover. It's that easy. Let's take a look in part two where we see this in action. Stay tuned for the next video.